This little dragon touch camera of mine ain't worth a flip either. Of course, it's better than nothing at all. Uh, I just put, get, I lost some footage again on this thing. So I'm going to explain again about this video. I've, I've been watching some of these people germinate seeds with a wet paper towel or, or uh, in my case, I used uh, napkins. I didn't have any paper towels. Uh, and it seems to be working pretty good. I, I, uh, I was supposed to, I did this stuff on the 20th, so that meant I was going to well, I was supposed to open them back up on the 26th, and I wound up doing, that was today, and I wound up opening them yesterday, but I closed them back up. But I noticed I did have germination on the sweet banana peppers and the cherry tomato plants. Um, but I closed them back up, and... Today I reopened, did them on the video, um, and uh, I still still just had germination on the tomatoes and the sweet banana. Uh, the other stuff hasn't germinated. Uh, but today I took out the ones that germinated. I had five tomato plants and uh, or five five seeds and two uh, sweet bananas and I went ahead and I planted them in the little uh, uh, pellets you know that you drop in the water and they swell up so I've got them in that uh, however I'm going to watch these other things from day to day and keep an update of it uh, and I got I got I also did a batch using the wet fabric as well as socks. I cut up some socks and I was right, folding them up in socks and wetting them to see if it made any difference in using the fabric versus the paper towels. I haven't opened the socks or the fabric yet, but I'm going to go ahead and post this video uh, and let's see how they work. I'm pretty impressed, you know, especially the fact that they had germinated by yesterday, which is four days. Uh, but the pattern of the paprika and the onions and other stuff I got, um, I haven't checked them yet. Well, I've checked them, but no germination. But I'll, I'll keep you up to date on what's going on with them, too, in another video. <clears throat> and uh, and there's, there's a, at the end of this video, there's a little piece there about this, pl this plant of some kind that's growing outside my bedroom window. They're pretty big. I don't know what they are. If anybody looked at the pictures, there's some still pictures, and see if you know what they are, uh, Lisa and Aparuski. Uh I'm really curious about them. I think that they really look neat, look like little pineapples sitting out there, <laughs> but it's not pineapples. But anyhow, that's what this video is about, and uh, I appreciate you folks. See you in the next video. Oh shoot, it's not.
you know, I've been having a lot of trouble getting some of these seeds to germinate. And I've been watching some of these people putting them in paper towels and stuff and germinating them. It seems like they have a lot of success. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start doing this with on this video. And I'll carry it all the way through. In other words, what I do today, I won't. It'll be with the rest of the video when it's all said and done to see how these things germinate. Um, <clears throat> I just eat a boil. I'm stuck. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and see how it does, you know. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'll do it yet, but come along with me. try this with the paper towel wetting them and stuff I'm going to do a bush cucumber that I've had trouble starting I'm going to do onions that I haven't tried to start this is in bunch onions I'm trying uh, going to try sweet banana peppers I'm going to try uh, paprika I'm going to try some jalapenos that I picked seeds from, some jalapenos I had, to see if they were, and this is the Formosa, uh, Mimosa, I'm going to try that. So I'm actually trying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm actually going to try nine. Um, I won't bore you with the, all of it, I'll just start some of them to show you how I'm doing it and what what I have to do is pour a little water I'm going to put them in this tray um, supposedly this starts them quicker I don't know uh, but I don't have paper towels, so I'm using napkins, and these are just as good as paper towels. And let's see, I need to write, do I have a pen? Hold on. Alright, this is, I got all my napkins marked, and believe it or not, I started some, <laughs> I didn't get off, I forgot I wasn't recording, so I'll show you the rest of them, um, this is the jalapeno, now this is the jalapenos that I harvested seeds out of some jalapenos I grew. Uh, I'm going to see if these germinate, and if they do, I don't need all these plants, but this is just an experiment to see if they germinate. I don't know if they do or not. Now, what I do, <coughs> i got my tray over here. I don't know if you can see it or not, right there, got water in it, I'm going to put a little bit more, and I got one tray done already, 
I think I put the sweet, sweet banana peppers and uh, the mild jalapeno and cayenne and something else. Now this, see how I've done it here. This is got it all there. Now these, is, I don't know how fast it takes. They say it's fast. Uh, all right, there they that one. Um, now this one is paprika. Which one is that? Is that? Now I haven't been able to get any paprikas to germinate. So and I'm gonna try it again. Try it again. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. I better take away some of them. Put them back in the thing. Um, I'm really wanting to. All right, this is the paprika. Now it's going in the water. Now the bush cucumber. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm gonna try this bush cucumber. This is supposed to just more bush than viney. And since I'm on the deck, this might work out just fine. We'll see. All right, I'm going to save them and see what they do. What do I do with my? There it is. I love these tweezers. They, they. I'm just going to spread them out. Now, supposedly, these will start, these will germinate. And you know, these seeds, they don't start out, they don't start out, uh, with the leaf first. A lot of people think they do, but they don't. What comes out of that seed first is the root. And then the vine part, that's what comes up first. And usually it's got part of the seed on it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and this is going in there like so, um, the next one is the onion. Uh, and here again, I've already got it cut open. I mean, here again, Let's set some of the, oh gosh almighty, I didn't mean all them to come out, holy crap. Now, I'll save them. Dang, I didn't mean all them to come out, but we'll see, you know, I don't know. I just want to see what what they look like. Um, that's the onion. Oh, there goes another one. Um, roll that back over. Maybe I can get that in there without spilling them. Alright, there's the onion. Now the next one, 
is mimosa. That's a tree. And let me get some of them. If I can get, if they'll sprout, I don't know. I would, I, people buy them mimosa trees, you know, they like them, and they got them like beautiful flower on it. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to go in the tray. Okay. Now. Now what I've got here is, uh, well, let me see here, let me get that over, I'm going to cover that up with foil just like I did this one. So what we got is the onions, the bush cucumbers, the uh, paprika, a jalapeno homegrown, tomatoes, and the mild jalapenos. I got some started but I'm going to try starting some there. And these thin, long thin cayennes. So that's a big pot. <laughs> Alright, now I will open these on the 26th. go um I want to start some mimosa trees I got some, a friend that does the works the flea market all the time she said that if I had a bunch of plants I want to sell she'd be glad to take them out there and put them on her table uh, for a percentage, which sounds good to me. Uh, anyway, see you in five days. Now let me turn that off. All right, it's the 26th. I've been trying something with paper towels or whatever to see if you can germinate the seeds faster. So I'm just going to take a peek and see. This is five days. And I got one I'm trying on just uh, well we'll see. That's cherry tomato. Well, let me just take it out. This, I figured, was going to be hard to... Oh, crap, yeah, look there. I got one, two, three, four. Wow. That's seeds just germinated five the cherry tomatoes has germinated now let's see about the uh, sweet sweet what sweet banana
Let's see what sweet banana's doing. You know what? This will make a believer out of me. Um, I've got one, two germinated. Wow. I could take, yeah, I'm going to have a busy day today. Sweet, two of the sweet bananas is germinated. Now, the long, thin cayenne. Let's see what we got here. Alright, the long pin cayenne has not germinated. It's gonna take longer. Now, let me take the jalapeno and the jalapeno is not germinated. But the sweet banana and the tomato is so. These go back in there. That goes back in there. Now, I was a day later on those in the fabric. So what I got to do now Let me stick him back in there just a minute. Okay. How about that? <laughs> these here, these are a day behind these. Uh, I, even though I got the 21st mark on there, I didn't put them in there till the 22nd. So, <laughs> oh, about that. Okay, turn it off. You know what? I just made a mistake. Today is not the 26th. Today is the 25th. So those I just looked at, holy crap, oh, they germinated in four days, which one was it, it was the tomatoes and the sweet banana. That germinated in twenty in four days. So I gotta put this away till tomorrow. Check them again. Four days. I'll tell you what. I'll think long and hard about germinating certain things in the dirt. Oh, that's fast. That is fast. I'll see if the mother two is germinated tomorrow. Let me. Okay. The twenty six. The big reveal. Let's see what germinated. I know some did because I snuck a look in there yesterday and I'm thinking it was a 26. Now, I'm going to sweet banana. Okay. Is that visible? Yep. Okay. 
Day six. And I've got one, two germinated of the sweet banana. Now I'm going to close that back up. Put that over there. And now let's see what we got on the cherry tomato. Sure, that's part of an eggshell right there. Get rid of that. Okay. Holy crap. Let's see. I got... Man, them's going to town. Is that one? Yep, those have got to be... Got one, two. I got... One, two, three, four. I got five. Um, calling this. I got five. They close that back up. That means five, six, seven. I got keep count because I got to get these that sprouted. I've got to get them in the. I'm gonna put them in the uh, little uh, pellets. Uh, these things. Right here, you soak them, they swell up. I'm gonna plant them in that. Now, this is uh, cayenne. See what it looks like. These little black specks, you see, that is uh, that's uh, coffee grounds. I got spilt some by accident. All right, how do I get this separated? Here we go. Alright, this is the cayenne. I don't see none sprouted. So them's going back in. Now, I got one more in this tray. This is the jalapeno. Alright, the cayenne's going back in the uh, all right, this is the mild jalapeno peppers. And guess what? Ain't none of them sprouted yet. So the Two that sprouted is a cherry tomato and the uh, sweet banana pepper. Alright. Let me put this jalapeno back in there. And what I'll do now, I've got to go soak what I say, I sell them. I got to soak seven of these. Um, get them big and plant them, and I'll show you that when I do it. So right now, I'm gonna put these back in there. Make it dark again, and I'm not gonna open that oven because I was a day behind. That one's gonna wait. All right. Let me go outside and get my stuff. Alright, I got my little pellets here and I got one, one, two, three, four, I got five sprouted and I'm gonna Plant them little suckers. I ain't gonna go too deep. But let's see. This is gonna be kind of okay. That's 
como hoy. It's going to be hard to do. <laughs> I thought this was going to be it. Where's the city? Oh, right there, there it goes. Uh, one in there. Um, ah, I dropped one. Well, shoot. This is hard to do. Got two. Um, you know, I, I That thing's got more than one root sticking out of it. I may... Well, I thought these were dandy. There we go now. One more. Okay. Now kind of bury them things a little bit. That's the pepper. No, wait a minute, that's the tomatoes. That's the tomatoes. So, Throw that away. And this will be, um, It's kind of tedious. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. All right, 
I got two banana peppers. These, what am I dropping? This is a faster way that however there's some in there that didn't that didn't germinate. Um now I'll put a lid on this. I may leave this in here and throw the grow light on it, but I, the others, not so much. I'm going to check these others. Let's see, what have I got here? I got... I got another tomato plant there. I don't need that. See tomatoes, see tomatoes. Dang. Cayenne, jalapenos. Anyway. I was prepared to say that I would never start one in the dirt again. But you know what? It just depends. If I got something that's hard to start, um, uh, like these, though I couldn't start no bananas, the sweet bananas. I've tried them the dirt way. Nothing happened. Here in five, actually, when I checked it yesterday, these here had already sprouted. So that was four days. Uh, I don't, and I got paprika and stuff in the others, and I just checked them, and they're they're they've not sprouted yet, but we'll see what happens. But I I like this result. I, I've got two banana peppers over there. I could have left them others going or put some more in there and 
Um, I like the idea that uh, pepper plants are perennials, meaning you can carry it over from one year to the next. You can overwinter them. And also, I didn't know till now that tomatoes are perennials. You can carry tomato plants over. Um, but there's a couple of ways to do that. I haven't actually seen anybody carry a tomato plant. I've seen them take cuttings from it and put them in water and root them and carry them over. You can carry over okra. Uh, that's a perennial. And also eggplants are perennials. You can carry them over. But you, but pepper plants, you can do the jalapenos, you can do uh, all kind of pepper plants. Bell peppers, you can carry those suckers over. They're all perennials. So I, I didn't know that, but at least now I know. Yes, it can be done. Yes, it seems to be quite easy. And I will check these again tomorrow to see what sprout and what doesn't sprout but the paprika I'm really interested in that uh, and I got some mimosa tree seeds in here I want to see how long it takes to root them or to get them to germinate uh, but anyway now you see, now I may start a lot of seeds this way. But, and I did it, well, it was easy. But I got some other things coming through, uh, you know, some cu the bush cucumbers, the bunch onions. Um, we'll see how they do. So there you have it, friends. I suppose this is the end of the video. This is my story, and I'm sticking to it. And it was pretty simple to do. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Lisa and Naparuski, here's this plant. And I don't think it's what you were saying, Lisa, about a bromelade. I'm, I've been looking at some stuff. But here, this thing. Alright. I don't know if you can see all these. But see them cones right there? And right over here. Here's some with flowers on them. So I don't know. My daughter says they get flowers all over them. But I see them all down through there. Oh, uh, I see some more there with some flowers starting on them. But there they are, my friends. What is it? What is it? Uh, stop that. Now, I ain't stopping recordings, uh...